What is going on? Welcome back to Canadian Dividends. So today we're going to talk to you about my RRSP, go over how the portfolio has been doing, what I've been buying and everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. Portfolio is at 24,000 uh, available cash, 2,600. That is both Canadian and American. So around 830 USD. And the only thing that I've really been doing, so you can kind of see all my transactions. So I was wanting to buy TD. I did sell C CVS at $56. That was my limit order. Um, so that's the beauty of just setting limit orders and then just kind of take a step back. And if it hits, it hits. If not, then no big deal. So CVS, I was anticipating for more of a recovery. But then again, as I said, I only had two shares. It, it's okay. But I did buy yesterday Bank of Montreal. So they got completely massacred. And I don't know how I got this filled. So it was 67 shares at $118.80. So at the time, I got an email saying that this got filled and I kind of looked and it was at like 119 or close to 120. So I have no idea. Maybe it was a very quick dip. But regardless, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm probably going to be holding it similar to TD, more of a swing trade based on the technicals it is somewhat high but with the recent data I think there might be some more room for it to potentially go up um, a little bit so that's something I've been doing then I did buy one share of good old Starbucks at $77.10 and so far it's recovered currently sitting at $79.33 so all in all Bell is starting to recover obviously piggybacking off the broader market Hopefully I'm able to break even, then I'll kind of uh, adjust accordingly. But I like Bank of Montreal. If for any reason Home Depot does break below $310, this is where I'll probably just put the rest of my USD in Home Depot. Same goes for Coke. If it does drop below $60 once again, then I will be buying. But outside of these stocks, I think with PCE numbers coming out, it did insinuate that there's going to be at least one rate cut in 2024. But at the same time, core PCE was a little bit higher than anticipated below the forecast, but mind you still relatively high. So I think that's what is scaring a lot of growth stocks. So I don't think it's really that time to buy. The only stock that I potentially might buy would be good old Palantir. So PLTR, it is getting completely slaughtered through interactive brokers. I actually did short it because it had a nice spike up to around 2230 yesterday. And so I did enter a short position at 2230. And I'm probably going to be closing it out fairly soon just for a quick uh, swing trade for that. But um, aside from that, I really do like pound here just I would like it a little bit more probably in the mid 20s, or uh, high teens. So let me know your thoughts on that. This is kind of the only growth stock aside from possibly even SoFi that is kind of on my radar. So let me know your thoughts on what you've been doing. Um, Canadian stock wise, there's not really anything standing out to me exactly right now. Like I've done in the past, I always do a video on the top two or three stocks to buy for obviously the following month. So with today being May the 31st, there will be one of those videos coming out probably this weekend on some stocks to either add to your watch list or buy for June. And in the past, if you kind of look back, generally, it's done fairly well. So I'm going to go through over this weekend some buys based on the technicals and upcoming events and all the fun jazz. So let me know your thoughts on that. And did you buy the BMO dip? To be fully honest, someone did send this to me um, more of a recommendation because Bank Montreal isn't my favorite bank, but I do like value and I like making money, whether it be swing trades, even if I like the underlying asset or not, you can make money on absolutely anything if you time it right. So once again, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully everyone has a good upcoming weekend. And with all that said, appreciate all of you watching.